and here's what we're using for today's project. <laughs> hey y'all, APG Jamie here. And today we're going to upcycle these here um, box bottoms. My husband gives away pocket knives and uh, I realized he was throwing the boxes away. Some of the boxes were pretty squished and messed up so they weren't useful. So I rescued a lot well, a lot's a relative term, I guess. Uh, several of the box bottoms, all right? And we're going to turn them into matchboxes, just like the title says, a different matchbox. So I wanted to use cardstock, but not heavy cardstock. And I didn't feel like it was quite heavy enough. So I'm also using painty copy weight paper and we're going to adhere our um, cardstock to it with yes paste. Now because I'm adhering a heavier paper to a lighter paper, I am lightly spritzing the back of the heavier paper with distilled water. Okay, just lightly. And it will help the glue to attach without being absorbed and drying before it does its magic adherence. Something like that. <laughs> anyway, I used heat gun, not, not filmed, uh, to dry that. And then I went and had a sandwich or whatever I was doing. And now I'm cutting it down to what I thought was size for the larger box. It's slightly off, but that's okay. I mean, you know, we're all perfectly imperfect. So anyway, we're trimming it down, and I do have one larger box bottom, and then the others are a smaller one. And I fiddle around with measurements, and I get some of them right, and some of them not quite right. So I do scoring here, and scoring there, and up and down, and all everywhere. Because uh, y'all know, I ain't no ruler boss of me. So we're going to fiddle around with scoring and using the bone folder. Not a real bone. Anyway, so we're doing that. And uh, like I said, some of them I get right, some of them not quite right. And eventually, I think it took me two, two boxes, two matchbox wrap parts where I made a template. And I thought, well, we should have done this from the get-go. I don't suffer you through through all that, but I do suffer you through this. Because if you're going to make one of these, you're going to use whatever size box bottom you have. And I feel like you could use any kind of open box like this, you know, within reason. Because the bigger they are, the the sturdier you're going to want your wraparound match box cover part stuff. Of course, there are some, um, die, you know, metal dies out there where you can uh, make match box. You can die cut the stuff. And, um, yeah, I'm sure there's lots, lots of videos on how to make a match box. Not my original idea, but I thought I'm gonna do it because I have all these boxes and I, I want to to y'all. Sometimes you don't have to have a reason to other than I want to. So we're doing all that and I'm drawing a line because that's gonna be my cut line. Well, I'm not really drawing a line, I'm just making little marks on there. It's like, yeah, it's perfect because you know, I'm a machine. I'm like, yeah, that's perfect good. I don't know what I'm doing off screen right now, but I'm sure it's important. Okay. Okay. Well, we got it taken care of, whatever it was. I'm like, yeah. Okay. Rescore this over here. It'd be, it'll be just fine. So, we're doing that. I will get to decorating. I don't show you decorating all the ones I made this particular day, but you'll get the gist of it. I used, um, some stuff laying on my desk mostly. Well, not, not really. 
Well, it was on my desk. Oh, we're going to ink. It's important. It's vital that you guys see me ink around this, okay? And I couldn't decide if I wanted to ink my score lines or not. And I'm like, yeah, do it. Some of these I inked and some of them I didn't. Y'all know how I am. Sometimes I want to, sometimes I don't. I'm like, okay. Now we're going to glute because the top part of my matchbox cover overlaps, okay? You don't want to do that on yours. You don't have to. You do yours how you want to. But I wanted the top of my box that's pretty sturdy, okay? So that's what I'm doing. Bone folder inside the little, now it's a slip cover, isn't it? It's a slip cover, I guess it is. And I'm putting the box in there upside down so I can smash it pretty good, you know, without smooshing it inside and making it collapse. So here's where we you got the template. And I have these other pieces that have already cut down the size because we already I already showed you how I did it. Okay. And now I'm just using the template to put my score lines in there. All right. And one of them I scooch over ever, ever, ever so slightly. Just, I mean, just slightly. And I'm like, yeah. So I do that. And then we're going to fold it up. Some of this uh, is scrap painting card stock, and some of it is scrap inside unattractive mono printed paper. And I thought, well, that's perfect for the inside. Because, you know, I wanted something inside, but it didn't have to be pretty because you're not really going to see it. It's on the inside, and it would be hard to see, y'all. Just saying. So, I'm so happy you're here. Spending time with me in the studio, spending time with you at your house where you're all nice and cozy or cool or whatever the weather is. Oh, scoring, scoring, scoring. And I thought, let's get fancy and put a window. But I didn't make it all the way through. Okay, just on the one side. You'll see. Now, I'm thinking next time I make these, I might put it all the way through so that it would be an actual window instead of just a little frame opening of sorts kind of thing. And I am using a dye machine over there. You, you can't see me but because I didn't film that part because I figured you probably already know how to do that or just, you know. Well, I'm sure you probably know how to do everything. Just saying. So I'm using washi tape less than what I don't find attractive washi tape, okay, to tape my little die down. And yes, video is sped up. Thanks for noticing. So uh, there's a list of ingredients in the description box below the video. Y'all know what to click on. Show more to... See more information. And now I've uh, closing over the top and drawing a pencil line so I can add this black uh, piece of cardstock just because I'm going to use some tickets and some of the tickets are just not quite the same size as the window. Okay. So I'm filling in the back with the black cardstock and scrap cardstock. Y'all are just sitting over there by the die cut. Because when I cut stuff out and you get them little scraps, I leave them over there because sometimes they come in real handy. Okay. Mm -hmm. Trimming them down just a little bit. It, you won't be able to see it anyway, so it doesn't even necessarily have to be straight. It just needs to be a little smaller. Okay. So... I've got these tickets I got from the Amazons. I'll do my best to put a link in the description box below. I am not an affiliate. I get absolutely nothing. But I would recommend that you go to one of your favorite affiliate peoples and order through them on your Amazon. If you, if you do that kind of thing, anyway. I don't remember how many packages came in the set. I, I don't know. But each package has three different size of tickets. One's a regular, normal, regular, average size. One's a little smaller, and then one's even a little smaller than that. So, 
I'm picking out which ones I thought worked on whatever background. And I did not do the same ones. I mean, they're all a little different, okay? So we're going to glue those on. I think I inked around the inside of the window, but I didn't necessarily show that, okay? If you want to ink, ink. You don't want to ink, don't ink. Now I'm trying to center it ish up a little bit. And um, yeah, I think you get to see me do each one of these. I have three of them. I think in total I ended up with five of the smaller size and one of the larger size matchbox. Now they're matchboxes because the box slides in and out of the wrapper, which is, I don't know, a wrapper. <laughs> I don't need mean music wrapper, you know, but they're cute. And you could, of course, totally decorate your uh, painted paper or ink dyed paper or whatever kind of paper you're going to use on yours. If you're surely you're going to make one, right? Well, I suggest making more than one. But anyway, I I don't know what they could be used for. Anything you wanted to. Anything you want to use them for. Gifts. You can hold little trinkets. Um, you can just decorate your shelves with them. Just whatever. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Excuse me, y'all. So just squishing down the two sides so that they get, get all happily married. And I'm putting the box in there upside down so I can squish it and have you know, a little firmness going on. And uh, I did take and trim some paper down to lay on the bottom of the inside of the box just to make it a little slightly more prettier. Slightly. I wouldn't say totally, but you know, do what you want to do. Line it with go, y'all. Yeah. Velvet. Ooh, put velvet. I don't have any velvet. Darn it. I used to have a velvet dress that I wish I still had because I'd cut that sucker up. <laughs> anyway. Smooshing glue around. I am using a heavy-ish glue for this part because I'm gluing two heavier things together. Squishing it all down. We'll get to decorating momentarily. Any day. So those little rectangle dies I have make a frame if you want to die cut a frame. So I did because I'm like, that's gorgeous. Put a frame on it. Just gorgeous. One of them I got slightly off so I took a black pen and, and scribbled it in there and you can't tell. You would never know. Well, unless you got up real close and personal. Which you might in a photo montage. I don't know. I didn't do a real big photo montage. Average. Well, less than average. I have some die cuts that we're going to be putting on these. But first, we're going to make a butterfly. Okay. And that's just the, the back of some other paper. And I thought, well, I like that. And we're going to make a butterfly. It's a little punch. I punched out two of them. I want the top wings, because it's a double wing butterfly, y'all. I want the top wing to kind of flutter, be like it's fluttering up. So I cut the top, oh, cut one of them in half. And we're going to put uh, antenna on there with the black thread. Y'all know I like that. Look, I do. So that's what we're doing, and the wings that I cut apart, I'm going to put a little fold on each one, okay, and then we're going to stick it to the bottom butterfly, okay. It had some weird, it had antennas sticking out of its head that looked really bizarre, so I just cut those off. You can do that if you want to. You can alter your own, you know, whatever doesn't make you happy. Make it make you happy. Tell it, make me happy. So we're gluing all that on, and it is it was pretty fiddly, y'all. I ain't no lie about that. At one point, I, I die cut some fish and did a little inlay stuff on that. I did not film it. You won't have to watch it, because I didn't use them anyway. 
But, I, you know, I thought, well, I could put them on the outside. This one looks like they're in water. And I'm like, no. I, I did all that work. Of course, I wanted to. I enjoyed it. It's not like it was work, you know. I can use them for something else some other time. I'm sure they will come in perfect serendipity at some point or another. Now I'm making a butterfly body out of black, a uh, little teeny tiny skinny piece that was hard for me to fiddle with because it's fiddly. It's fiddly stuff, y'all. We're going to put that little butterfly body on there. I end up not using it on this box like I thought I was going to. But I make another, I make two more and use them on another box. Now we're going to punch out some little flowers out of the orangey paper, which went very well with that particular ticket. And I'm going to take a ball stylus, okay, and I'm going to lay the flower, a little tiny flower in my hand, and just poke it with a little ball stylus so it kind of cups up just a little bit. And that is a painted cardstock there. And we're going to get some diamonds. Need some diamonds for the center of those flowers. Which go so well with the poppies on that ticket, y'all. Just, just saying. Because, yeah, it does. Perfect. It's like, oh. I couldn't have made that any more perfecter if I'd have planned it. <laughs> y'all. Oh. Where are we going to put them? We'll put them up here with these other flowers on the ticket because that's what looks good. And I'm like, no, I just do not like that butterfly on there. But like I said, we make two more and we will use those on another box, which you'll see. I don't suffer y'all through uh, me decorating all the boxes because I'm just using, uh, it's so cute. Uh, Thought we'd put a word. A couple of them got words. A couple of them, some of them didn't. So here we go. Here, here's, here's they all is that we made for this uh, round. And you can see the paper inside. And this is the only larger one that I made. I do have some more of those boxes. I'll get to them one day. And that one I stuck a piece of lace on the end. And wrapped it in a lace trim stuff. I don't know. Uh, oh, this is the one that's got the uh, sand dollar die cut on it. Okay, that's the one I made the fish for but didn't use. And this one's got some little uh, die cut mushrooms. And this one's got a die cut dragonfly. I love dragonflies, y'all. Just saying. And this one's got the butterflies. And, of course, you can decorate as much as you want or as little as you want or whatever. Ta-da! Photo montage! <laughs> there they are. That's the ones we made. That's the upside down bottom parts. It's pretty, too. Might be a good idea to coat these in a matte medium just to seal it up. I don't know. Depends on what you're going to use them for. I appreciate each and every one of you. So glad you could be here with me. Thanks for watching and happy arting, y'all.